first big distribution deal was with Time Warner. Are you guys familiar with Time Warner and Warner Brothers? I was the, to show you how things work, I would go to New York. We had meetings at Times Square. When I go to Time Warner, they have this office. Their office is about the size of this whole wing is the one CEO office. And automatically, they think, just because you're doing rap, you know, you're going to come in and uh, you're just another guy running rap <laughs> later, label this, you know, and you're just ignorant. You, we throw you a little money, this and that, and be done with it. And I watched that. And I watched the guys around me here in Atlanta, and I watched how people treated them. When I did my first joint venture deal for a publishing deal and for, um, for a record deal, when I did a joint venture, I did it without a CD. I had no music, no nothing. Zip. A lot of people, want, they won't even sit down and have a meeting with you unless you have a finished demo and you have something hot that they can buy from you. I did that with no demo, with no nothing, simply because I went in there. First off, when I walked in, I wasn't a typical African-American running a rap label, that, rap label that they were used to seeing. When I went in, I went in with the attitude, look, if you guys want to do business, we can do business, okay? If you don't, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing anyway. See, I didn't need them. I didn't need their money. I, I didn't need nothing from them. It's like, okay, if you can do something to better what I'm doing, then we can get down and we can do it together. But if you think I need you, yeah, we can't do business. Because the worst thing that you can do is let someone think you, uh, you need them. When you do that, you already handicapped yourself. 